Choco low. Choco no. Welcome guys to this Saturday evening. I know what it's like. You're watching Strictly Come Dancing on a Saturday night. Oh, a fancy little bit of chocolate. Now, these bad boys, and they are bad, and they're probably boys, um, are from Aldi. There we go. These are the brand new Choc O Low. Now, as you can see in the title, it's Choc O No, in fact. Don't bother. <laughs> they are 79p and they claim to be 80% less sugar. I repeat, 80% less sugar in dark and in milk. So, the, the problem with chocolate is there's two ingredients that make them so calorific. Number one is sugar. So it's great that these have been reduced by sugar by 80%. But the other ingredient in here which hasn't been reduced is fat. And not only fat, saturated fat. The sort of fat that's not going to do your body any good whatsoever. And hasn't really got any good nutrients in either. Now I haven't even tried these yet guys. So, you know, I don't like to be negative or slag off products. But to be honest with you, if you're going to have a treat, which at the end of the day, chocolate is a treat. Do remember that. Um, whether you're on Slimming World or Weight Watchers, you do have to count it and it can't be part of, you know, like a daily or a couple of times a day. It has to be a treat. Um, but if you're going to have a treat, have something that you're really going to enjoy and something you really love. It's no use replacing your normal chocolate with things like this because 100 grams of Cadbury's dairy milk is 26 points. 100 grams of this one is 21 points. So the point difference is very, very small. Now I haven't tried these yet. Now if you do try them and you do like them, nutritionally, this one is better, the darker chocolate, because it has more natural cacao in, which as you know, has lots of benefits helping your body and helps release the endorphins. This one has obviously got more milk in it, more calcium. Um, just to run through the uh, ingredients, let's do the dark chocolate first. So the biggest ingredient here is cow cow mass, which is great. Then you've got sweeteners, uh, quite a few ingredients that I can't read out. Um, but basically it says 70% minimum cow cow solids, which as you know, uh, green and black sell a 70%. So this is a 70% on the cheap with a bit less sugar. So if you like this, then it's not so bad. This one, the milk chocolate one, it's 34%, only 34% cow cow, and milk solids is 18%. The biggest ingredient here is sweetener. Now, I haven't even tried them yet, okay? So let's get these bad boys open. Um, so two squares is the recommended uh, amount and it's 99 calories. For the 100 grams, which is the whole bar, it's 494 calories. Hi Janice! You excited about tomorrow? Woohoo! Me and Janice are going somewhere really exciting tomorrow. Look forward to that live video. So, you've got 10 squares in here, because when it says two squares on the back, when I read that, I thought, oh, really? Because you think like Cadbury's and they're like really small. But the good news is they're actually quite big squares. So let's try this for the first time. If you haven't had dairy fine chocolate from Aldi before, it's actually not that bad. It's quite nice. It tastes like... normal dairy fine chocolate from Aldi. Because they put sweetener there instead of the sugar, it actually doesn't taste any different. And I'm not feeling any aftertaste either. So taste wise, it's actually not bad. I'm gonna stop at one square though, because I don't want to overdo it on my points. Let's open this other packet. 
So this one now is the dark chocolate. When I review things like this, people always say to me, you made me eat chocolate! So hopefully you won't be saying that, guys, because... Right, so this is the dark. See, it's got a nice big dark. Let's have a piece of this. Mmm. Nice and crunchy, crumbly. I really can't tell any difference. Now, the bad news, as you know, with sweeteners, it doesn't actually say which sweetener it is. I'm just checking again. But as always, anything with sweetener does have a warning with it, and it says, excessive consumption may lead to a product laxative effect. <laughs> you got to love it, guys. So uh, if you did go crazy on these products, they'll be going out the other end. So that was my warning about this 80% chocolate. It is nice. I must admit, it is nice. But as I said, it is cheaper. And I believe that you'll get a lot more satisfaction from having your favourite bar. Don't buy this and think that it will fit into your eating plan because as I said um, there's a lot more products out there that are lost less points and more enjoyable. That's it from this Saturday night. I'm gonna go and watch Strictly now. Bye!